Hey, what's going down, guys? Talk Norwich City here, back for another video. I'm joined today with Rob Butler. I'm sure a few of you guys know him in the in the Norwich area. If you don't know Rob, what do you do? Mate? Um, I basically present Canary Call Jack. That's my that's my main job and the one that I'm infamous for. And also got a show here on BBC Radio North every Thursday night. Um, Call McVeigh and Butler. Yeah. So has this been sort of your dream job since the start? Have you always wanted to surround yourself in football? I have. Yeah. I mean, to be honest, I always I've always loved the game. I've always been a huge Norwich fan. Hope season ticket since I was a young kid. Yeah. Um, and I started out working. Um, in this industry in TV as a sort of producer on various football programs and you know long story short I found my way onto the radio which is uh, which I love you know I love um, I know I'm not I'm not everyone's favorite person when I'm on the radio yeah. but I like to think people listen um, and that's the main thing and at the end of the day I'm just talking about Norwich so yeah. can't can't be bad can it mate so what were your first kind of steps into getting into the business well I started out at Anglia television good old Anglia as a, as a runner um, and basically that's you know making the tea doing photocopies looking after the presenters yeah and I was lucky enough to, to work with two people Kevin Piper and Joe Drury Kevin's obviously a well-known presenter mm. and a bit of a legend around here and those two kind of mentored me and looked after me and, and got me a job producing on a, a program called Anglia Soccer Night um, and then I started off by going out with Darren Eady the Norwich legend and um, yeah. sort of filming little pieces with him where I'd be the sort of cameraman mm. um, and we'd go out and go to to various different local grounds, Cambridge, um, Milton Keynes, wherever, you know, Northampton, we called it fan cam. So it's a bit okay. of a bit of like what you do, Jack, yeah, yeah. you know, sort of a bit of a laugh, but nothing too serious. So we that we used to go out on ITV, you yeah. know, it's on proper telly. So we did that. Um, I used to co-produce the show or assistant produce the show. And then eventually I moved over to the Beeb um, and started doing the same for, for Late Kickoff, which is a programme that's still on. Yep. And Matt Gudgeon, who's one of our presenters here on Boots Radio Norfolk, got me on the, the show called The Scrimmage a few times as a guest. And he just one day said, do you fancy having your own show with Paul McVeigh? And of course I said, what's that all about? And he said, well, talking about Norwich City for an hour every, yeah. every Thursday night or whatever. Um, and of course I bit his hand off and then everything else has developed from there. So I've now, I've sort of come from sort of behind the camera to in front of the microphone. So a bit of a change around for me, but I still do production stuff as well. So a bit of everything really. Yeah, so you talked there about Kevin Piper and also yep. your work you do with Paul McVeigh. Do you feel yep. that was the big sort of opportunity you got um, to, to be where you are now? Yeah, I mean, uh, my big opportunity came through working with Kevin Piper and Joe Drury, who I mentioned a, a really talented uh, producer herself and Kevin was obviously the presenter and producer as well and like I'd say to you Jack I think you know if, if anyone who's trying to get in this industry you have to just start at the bottom mm. being a runner is a good way to start um, don't be too proud to sort of do every job there is going whether it be hauling a camera around doing a few wire bit of wire bashing just general dog's body making the tea yeah. and I think that's where I that's what I did and um, you know and, and luckily I'm wouldn't say I'm you know I'm not you know, on top of the tree, but I'm, I'm doing something I love and I'm doing something that I really enjoy. So yeah. that's, that's what that's what it's all about really. Isn't so it? now you get to sort of travel around England su supporting your beloved team and presenting Canary Call. Would you say that's the best part of your job and getting everyone's opinion and sort of taking that on board? I think so, yeah. I mean, I love doing the phone and it's quite hard sometimes because my boss, um, David Clayton, who runs the radio station, always makes sure, he always has to make sure that I'm sort of staying quite impartial and yeah. a little bit more straight back. Even though everyone knows I'm a massive Norwich fan and obviously I care about the club more than anything, you have to stay, you know, remain, don't really put your own views across. Mm. I think on a Thursday night with McVeigh, I could be a little bit more opinionated if you like. I think that's pr pretty much what I am. So it is difficult sometimes. I'm doing, I love doing the phone and I, cause I love working for Radio Norfolk because I love Norfolk, I love Norwich, you know, I love, I love where I'm from and I love the people of Norfolk. Mm. So it, it does annoy me a bit when people who, um, you know, listen to Ray, Ray, uh, Canary Call give it a bit of a stick. Cause yeah. I think the people who ring in, they've done what they need to do they've rung in they're brave enough to do that and i think every single one of them is brilliant and yeah. i love every caller you know i love the fact if they've got a norfolk accent even better so yeah. you know it's what we it's what we do it for and yeah i mean i love doing what i do mate yeah yeah so for people like myself wanting to get into the industry what would you say is the is the best way to start you said there don't be afraid to to take your opportunities would you say that's the sort of the key to, yeah key to i mean i i didn't start i worked you know sort of office work until I was about 25 so I, mm. you know don't be don't think your chance is gone don't yeah. think you, 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 your chance over I went back to college as a mature student um, did a degree and, and kind of got in it that way and ended up working as a, as a runner at Anglia and it's just a case of taking every opportunity I think don't give up if you if, you know you're you're a young lad but if it's not till you're 25 that you get the break mm. that you want don't give up and you know there's there's always opportunities there but you've just got to make sure when you get in that industry that you're you, you, you're happy to start at the bottom mm. don't be too proud don't be too um, 
too you know embarrassed to do anything in terms of you know even if you think it's just photocopying or yeah. get it done and then make sure that you're always available because a lot of the way people start these days is freelancing mm. so you have to make sure you're at the end of the phone and, and ready to fill in when someone's sick or something's gone wrong so just make sure you're always available I'd say. Yeah you said there you obviously went back to college would you say staying in education is important because I know a lot of people really want to get stuck in straight away but yeah. sometimes not having the education could be a, yeah could be a, I think experience um, yeah I think experience is vital Jack I think you need to get out there and start working in the industry however if you have done a I mean there's some great media courses out there now where you can you know they've got full working studios you can use a camera you can use a mixing desk you can use a you know a radio studio so yeah. if you've actually done that in a in a um, college environment or a university environment and then you turn up at Radio Norfolk or radio wherever it, you know wherever you're doing or you say I've actually used this software then that's a great thing and, and things like if you're doing TV which is where I started having the knowledge of editing softwares mm. you know and and studying where you want to work and using the software that they use you know whether it be avid or or you know adobe or any any of those sort of things that they use mm. you, make sure you use the, the the industry standard software then you can go in there and even if, if you've got a, an iMac or whatever at home a macbook practice on that and yeah. then you can turn up at these places and if you're work experience well actually i know how to edit and you can do that that impresses people and then this freelance work comes from it so but i definitely think you've got to be doing you've got to, i mean it sounds cheesy saying stay in school yeah but you really <laughs> should you know and you really want to make sure you get you know the, the media degrees at universities these, these days are brilliant you know even at city college and the uea yeah. is some fantastic stuff so definitely definitely stay there but if you can get work experience or even if it's unpaid do it definitely yeah so you said you're sort of in, in your dream job at the moment um obviously there must be some negatives to it you're very opinionated on air and sometimes i see you get a bit of stick on twitter <laughs> would you say that's one of the negatives of the job you're never going to really please everyone i don't look um i don't want people to like me that's not what we're doing it for i yeah. think i think everyone who you know look i'm not i'm not ant and deck i'm not on the telly <laughs> every night in front of millions but i'm i've got uh, you know certain people are listening i don't expect people to like me you get the odd nice tweet you get the odd nasty tweet <laughs> but Bottom line is, if people are going to be personal and nasty, I'll block them on, on yeah. Twitter. To be honest, if someone just doesn't like me and, and disagrees with me, that's absolutely fine. Yeah. Because as long as they're doing it in, in an articulate way and, and, and giving me feedback, that's absolutely fine. But you know, people who know me, my friends, my family, whatever, know I'm, I'm a decent bloke. And the bottom line is, it's only football at the yeah. end of the day. And people get so worked up about it. But you know, that that's life. And, and people are entitled to give their opinion about me because I'm on a radio station which is um, paid for by the public. Yeah. So if people want to tweet me and say I'm wrong and they disagree, all the better because yeah. that's what I'm here for is to, to create a discussion. Yeah. yeah. So you work closely alongside Paul McVay, obviously a legend in the game. How good legend. is he? Legend. Well, maybe that's got a bit too far. Legend. No, a good, a good definitely guy. Definitely not a legend. Decent. <laughs> decent guy. I won't make good, but decent. Yeah, yeah. He's a good lad. Yeah. But how good is it to, to sort of get somebody who's got so much knowledge in the game? He's written, recently written a book. Obviously, he must help you along the way. Definitely. I mean, I you know Gudge, uh, who, who uh, Matt Gudgeon, who's our present, one of our presenters here, put us together. I'd never met Paul. I'd, I'd interviewed yeah. many footballers in my time. I was, good friends with Darren Eady, having worked with him at Anglia and I knew a few other of the lads and I'd never met Paul McVeigh, mainly because he didn't used to do media, because, yeah. which is ironic because now he's all over it, but yeah. he didn't used to like doing the media so he, he now does it. I'd never met him and we went for a drink together with Gudge and we got on instantly because we had a lot in common because we're roughly the same mm. age, we're both you know football mad and um, we got on and, and I think um, it is great having Macca because he is... Um, someone who's played the game and I obviously admire because he was a, a good player for Norwich, a really good player for yeah. Norwich, all joking aside. <laughs> and um, apart from that last season where he's you know, on the bench. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, so yeah, it's great. And, and just to, to hear the stories about the international games he played and some of the players he played against, it's just great for, for Norwich fans yeah. to hear that. And um, Mac is a really good lad. He's a hard worker. He's got a great sense of humour. He doesn't take himself too seriously. And I like to think I'm the same, so we get on well. Yeah, so... A lot of people are put off in the industry, I think, because of the nerves that, that it brings. Do you ever get nervous sort of going on out? Obviously, Radio Norfolk gets a hell of a lot of li listeners. We hope, yeah. Yeah. Do you, it, does it ever affect you or did it at it the start? It do, yeah, it definitely did at the start. Um, you know, when, we first, when I first did Canary Call, I'd hate to listen back to it because I was nervous. I didn't know whether to write an intro, so actually yeah. write a script. I didn't know whether just to come on and just sort of wing it. You know, um, I've since realised the best thing to do is wing it's the wrong phrase, but just go on and ad lib yeah. and say what you're feeling. From the heart, you know, you're if you're a football man and you care about it, I don't, you know, I, I think um, nerves have gone now because I think the more you do it, the less nervous you get. I'm sure you find with your videos, yeah, you know, you're not nervous as much now because you've you've done it a few times. But definitely was nervous. There's nothing wrong with being nervous. 
you're always going to be a little bit nervous because yeah. you you know when you're presenting a program from a studio like this you're actually controlling it as well so if you press the wrong button or yeah. put the wrong fader it can all go wrong so that's where my nerves come from a technical point of yeah. view because it's something i haven't been doing so long but just actually talking i think i'm all right now because i've i've done it enough and uh but yeah i think if you weren't getting nervous before you went on air you'd be you'd be a robot and that's not that's not good enough really yeah do you think sometimes young talent slightly overlooked because they might have the technical ability but they don't know how to get their work out there and what would you give tips for to get the young people to get their work out there I think you've got to do what you're doing, Jack, and just look. You know, don't think you're annoying people. You might be annoying people. You might, you might be tweeting them, and then I think, oh god, him again. <laughs> but I don't think they do because I think they, they if they watch, they take the time to watch your work. For, for you as an example, I think they think this boy's got got something a bit special. You know, he's, he he really knows what he's doing. He's a natural on camera. So I don't think there's any way that people you can you can ask people enough to help you out, yeah. and and you're not doing it in a in a kind of like you're bugging them you're just saying look i really admire you i really want to get in the industry that you're you're in can you help me please yeah. um and i think you'll find most people are happy to do it because it's part of our job i'm not saying i'm not simon thomas i'm not jake humphrey i'm not yeah. one of these guys who's at the top of the game but i like to think that we can all give something back to you guys i also think there's not enough um female sports presenters as yeah. well and it's something that we're bbc radio is really trying to work on especially local radio and i think Perhaps they are overlooked, and there should be more um, female sports presenters, not only on television but on the radio as well. Yeah. I think yeah, the BBC try their hardest. So I think the young people and women are overlooked on the radio, and I think there needs to be something done about it. Um, but I don't know what that is. I think it's just giving people an opportunity, and if, if they if they grab it with both hands, and that's a good thing. Yeah. Let's go back to Canary Call. Obviously, yeah. there's a lot of videos on um, YouTube of sort of 606 calls. Yeah. The, the, the old funny, funny ones coming in. What's been your funniest ever call in from Canary Call? Uh, well, apart from the ones that swear, which we don't encourage. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we, we get a chap called Negative Mark who's on. I think he was on last night at the Liverpool game, actually. It wouldn't surprise me. No, he's... Um, and I met him. I, I was out interviewing. I always do some fans' boxes before we go out. So I speak to a few of the fans, and I did some at Arsenal. And he came up to me because he recognised me. And he said, oh, hello, I'm Negative Mark. And he had his son with him. And his son was really positive. Yeah. So his son, I forget what his son's name is, oh, John, positive yeah. John and negative Mark. And it was great because I interviewed them both. And I love him because he is what I would class a typical Norwich fan. You know, he's very negative. He always thinks, well, they ain't good enough. You know, and even when we're beating Bayern Munich, they're still moaning. That's yeah. what I love about our football club is, and general football fans as well. We're all kind of, oh, that ain't good enough. Oh, we're going to go down. Oh, I think we're going to lose today. That's what I love about football. And I think negative Mark sums up. He's yeah. a great guy. And when I spoke to him, he, he, he knows it's, it's a bit of fun. And he's got his tongue in his cheek most of the time. But, you know, it's... Um, He's a great guy, and, and we've got a lot of regulars that come in, but you know, we want new people to, to ring up. We want we want younger guys like you to ring up, and we do get a few younger guys. We want we want older people to ring up, we want everyone to ring up because what we need every week is new callers. We don't want the same old people, yeah. we want new people. So I love every single one of them. I think anyone who, who's got the balls to pick up that phone and, and make a call and speak to, to us on Canary Call, good luck to them. Yeah, definitely. So that sort of rounds it up, that, uh, this little talk about the radio and things. Thanks to you, Rob. Uh, if Cheers. they want to find your work, where can they go to? Oh, don't worry about that. You, I can't advertise. It's the BBC. But uh, if you tune your radio to Radio North, I'm I'm generally gobbing off. So you know, yeah. get involved. I'd recommend it. Thursdays, McVay and Butler, and yeah. after every Norwich game, Canary Call. It's always a good laugh. So thank you. If you've enjoyed the video, please subscribe to me and also like the video. Thank you, guys.